This video is going to explain you step by step how to boost your Valorant FPS to the next level and also decrease the input delay by adjusting in-game settings, optimizing the NVIDIA settings, and making specific adjustments with secret F's boost tools. So please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get straight into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So first go to my website, I give link in the description and download the Valorant FPS boost and lower input delay pack from here and follow me. So it should then look exactly like this. And here, here now we have a few different files. But what we actually want click to do on the is Windows 10 to bloater GUI, right click onto it and run it with PowerShell. You should then see after a few seconds, it's going to open up. And what we can do from here guys, is basically remove all the blood work of our windows, which is basically stuff like additional applications, icons, which are on the taskbar, or in the Windows menu Built itself. in ads, which are also a huge part of Windows. Actually, once you're going to take a look at the right side, you know side, those are like ads basically, and all of these processors running in the are background are super hard for the meaning. So therefore, what you can do is in the click first on the place. customized block list, and they can go through it step by step, and hand pick exactly which ones you want to disable. But what we want to do instead guys, is just simply click on the remove all bloodware. You're going to click onto it once, and then you can let it run here, basically in the background, and not actually remove the whole bunch of stuff from my PC, something like suggestions on the start menu. Then we have something like people icon and taskbar. You can see just simply all of these processes, which you never really utilize, but they're still pre-built on your Windows PC, slowing it down. Next up we also have a few additional steps, something here. like Cortana, which is this voice assessment. Nobody reuses it so that I'm going to click on disable, and it's going to actually disable Cortana from my PC. And then, you can see on the top part, now guys. Cortana has been disabled. Super easy like that, as well. Then we can also fully uninstall actually OneDrive, which is this cloud service, which we can also just like that here. uninstall real quick, and you now, can see, OneDrive has been successfully uninstalled, which is amazing. And then finally, what we want to do is guys. click on the disabled telemetry task, we're going to click onto it once. And those additional processes, which are also now being disabled in the background, something like your location tracking. You know all of these processes were basically, Windows is just collecting data from your PC and sending it to Microsoft. We want to avoid this guys, so therefore, now the telemetry has been disabled and we can close this now. And we're done with the first step. So now once you get it done on your it PC, it should look exactly like this here. And what it basically does is guys, every CPU has enabled course and part course, as an example, now if you maybe have a CPU with maybe like I don't know a core 16 threads, for whatever reason actually, some of your cores might be part, and your CPU can only utilize 4 or 6 This of basically them. depending which power plant you're actually utilizing on your system, and what it said to and usually in Windows, it's quite hard to kind of find this option, because you gotta go like basically into a power energy settings, and there you can see then your process estate, which you can put to 100% and equally as well. your course. But with this tool, you can do it with one click, guys. and it's really really easy. You can right now you see what you want to make sure. In the first place guys, is go under power system, plan, and make sure to select the ultimate performance plan. Yeah, if you don't have it. I'm gonna put right now your on screen actually, a comment, and the comment is also gonna be in the description below. We just simply have to go into your CMD, run real it quick. as an administrator, and paste it in there, and then you will find this ultimate performance mode. This is the one which you actually want for the to best select, performance, guys. and then you gotta go under core parking index, and then you gotta put it all the way to the right to side. unpark. Make sure you click first of all under unpark, all, and then under apply, and now you can see usually. Okay, there's no bad example with my PC because I'm running an i9, 14th gen. This is by any means a normal CPU, so therefore you can guys, take this as an example. You can see I've right now 20 cores enabled, and 12 of them part. I'm just saying this is not a good example. But usually if you have a little bit more common CPU, maybe something like a Ryze and, Rise and 7, you should have all of your cores now enabled on the top guys. But at the moment, my system can't even utilize more than 20 cores, so therefore, the other ones are still theoretically parked, because I guess, Windows, it made to utilize so many at the cores. same time, but as mentioned, if I would use it, here's something like on my budget PC, which I have here on the right side there, all of my cores on this Ryzen 7, 5800X would be unparked, and this is exactly what you want to achieve, because guys. park, cores are just simply not working in the background, and especially for most games nowadays, or even tasks, no matter if it's adult pro premiere. or gaming, want to have as many on parkour as possible, then you gonna close this and we continue. So now once you get it on your PC, this is exactly how it should look like. What you want to make sure in here guys, is basically put your GPU to MS. I mode this has nothing to do with the brand. This is only to do with the communication time between your GPU and your CPU. And you want to make sure to actually find your GPU, which for me is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, which you can select here. And what you want to make sure is that it says line based. 
you can only utilize this if it says line based. But literally any GPU from even over a decade should be ago. totally fine with this. It says you know line based MSI. And what you want to make sure is that the MSI mode is actually enabled. And then you go under interrupt priority and actually put it to high guys. This is exactly what you want to set up. This is super, super important. Trust me, this is gonna provide you with a lot more stable performance and loyal agency in all of your favorite games. Because the Miz I mode is so much faster than the normal one. How basically your GPU and your CPU are communicating. You definitely want to make sure to apply this one and click here. and apply real quick. And it's already done, you're good to go. And we can already close this tool. So <laughs> go to NVIDIA and select this option. Adjust image settings with preview. Then check the option. Use the Adivis 3D image settings and click on apply. After that select to the section manage 3D settings. Oh. Allows you to have better image equality. When you play with the lower resolutions, then your monitors default enable that feature. Select the option on, then choose a percentage of sharpening. And check the box or relay indicator. Ambient occlusion. Select performance in an isotropic futuring. Select application controlled in ATA losing FXA. I recommend that you select off auto losing. Gamma correction on ATA losing mode. Select application controlled auto losing transparency. Off background application. Max frame hate off include a GPUs. Select all of them the option. DSR factors. Allows you to use your upper resolution plane. I. See mode select ultra for lower input leg and frame time. In your games in the option of max frame heat. You can limit the FPS in your games. But if you want to do that, I recommend that you do it in each game individually. Through the section program settings, in OpenGL Rendering GP, you select your graphics card. Optimize for computer performance on Empower Management Mode. Select to prefer maximum performance shader cache size. Selected driver, default texture featuring in as a tropic. Simple optimization on texture featuring negative load bias. Select allow texture featuring quality. High performance texture featuring trilinear. Optimization on in Reddit optimization. Select Auto in Triple Buffering. You can select on if you play with this sync. Enable in Vertical Sync. Select to use the 3D application setting. Virtual Reality Pre-Rendered Frames. Select one and save the settings by clicking on Apply. After that select to the section. Configure Surround Physics in the Option Processor. Select your graphics card and lastly, save the change by click Go Settings. Go to the settings right there and go to the General tab right here. Go a little bit down till you see the raw input buffer and make sure this is set to on since this is gonna get you way less input delay. This is pretty important once you've done that. We are also done in the general tab and we can continue, continue going to the video chat right there. But if you actually get the want best it, performance of your game, I want you to set this to full screen. This is also gonna show you the refresh make rate. Sure this is set to your highest refresh rate possible. And once you've made these changes and set your display mode to full screen, we're gonna continue. The only reason why I'm not setting full this screen right now is because I because I got a 32 to 9 monitor and it's gonna look really, really weird for you on YouTube. So this is the only reason I'm why I'm not setting this to full screen. But anyways, the next continue going to the graphics quality. You can basically set everything to low or off. Except the multi-threaded rendering. Want you to set this to on and everything else to low or off. Make sure to compare my settings again with your game settings for the anti-alerting and the nesotropic filtering. This is basically up to you, and you can play around with it in the range. But my personal preference, or what I recommend, everybody of you is setting this to MS, AA, 4 times, and the nesotropic filtering to 4 times as well.